Ginoong Gaga, a bottomless abyss, is where everything started. It separated the icy land of Niflahi and the fiery land of Muspahi. The two lands crashed, resulting in the burning frost to turn into water drops, and water drops turned into life. Ymir, a giant, was the first living being whose death eventually gave life to Odin and his brothers. The blood, flesh, bones, and other remaining parts of Ymir's body became the source of the Nordic mythological universe. And there comes the Norse gods that belongs to two major clans, Isir and Vanir. Odin, Thor, Frigg, Loki, Baldur, Himdal, and Tyr are the representatives of the Isir clan, and they are also known as the main gods. While Nord, Freyr, and Freyja are the notable representatives of the Vanir clan, they are also known as the fertility gods. And despite the clash between the two clans, it is necessary for them to combine their powers in order for all of them to prosper. It all started with Odin, the supreme deity of Norse mythology, the father of this year, and the most revered immortal. Odin and his wife Frigg had a son named Sigi, who eventually became a powerful king who ruled Hanland. Sigi married a woman and eventually had Rerir as their offspring. King Rerir ruled over Hunland and married a woman and had Volsung as their child. Volsung became a king and married a woman named Ihon, and eventually they had ten sons and a daughter. The eldest son was named Sigmund and he had a twin sister named Signy. Signy was forced by her father to marry King Sigir during a meeting. During a feast, a stranger drew a sword to a drunk and said, I will give the sword to whoever can pull it. Many noblemen tried to pull the sword, including King Sigir, but Sigmund was the only one who successfully pulled it. King Sigir offered Sigmund lots of gold in exchange with the sword, but Sigmund refused to agree. And that's when King Sigir got angry and planned for a revenge. King Sigir invited the Volsungs into his kingdom, and that's where he killed King Volsung and his sons. King Sigir felt happy knowing that he killed all the Volsungs, excluding his wife, without knowing that his wife Signy saved one, which was Sigmund. King Sigir and Sidney had two sons. Sidney planned to use her child to take revenge because of King Volsung and her other brother's death, but she failed. One night, she disguised herself and planned to sleep with her brother Sigmund for three nights. And that's when she got pregnant with another child. She named the child Sinfoli. Signy sent Sinfoli to Sigmund's place and asked him to take care of the child. Sigmund and Sinfoli fought many war and eventually killed King Sigir and his sons. King Sigmund married a woman named Borghild who poisoned his son. Borghild eventually died and King Sigmund married Bordis. During a fight, King Sigmund's sword that was given by Odin broke into two and that's when he realized that odin no longer wants him to wield that sword king sigmund gave the remaining pieces of his sword to his pregnant wife and he called it the gram hordis king sigmund's wife eventually gave birth to their child and named him sigurd and king sigmund died growing up Sigurd had Regin as his foster father. Regin had a brother named Fafnir, and he asked Sigurd to kill his brother in exchange for a lot of treasures. Sigurd successfully killed Fafnir and got all the treasures with him. And 
upon celebrating his victory. Sigurd roasted Fafnir's heart and tasted its blood, and eventually he understood the bird's language. He heard that Regine, his foster father, is planning to betray him, so he killed him first. King Sigurd fell in love with a woman named Brynhild. Brynhild is an imprisoned maiden, a Valkyrie who disobeyed Odin and was put into sleep with a sleeping thorn. Leaving Brynhild, King Sigurd eventually flew to King Gukis Hall. Brynhild, King Gukis' wife, knew that Sigurd is in love with Brynhild and that he is an honorable and well-respected man. So she believed that it is much better if her daughter Gudrun will marry Sigurd instead. So she prepared a magic drink for King Sigurd that made him forget everything about Brynhild. King Sigurd married Gudrun and had an offspring. They named the child after King Sigurd's father, King Sigmund. Gunnar, Gudrun's brother, asked Sigurd for a favor in order for him to win Brynhild's heart. King Sigurd did what Gunnar asked him to do. Gunnar and Brynhild eventually got married. But when Brynhild knew about King Sigurd and Gunnar's plan, she got angry at him. her husband and his ex-lover King Sigurd. And after finding out the truth, Brynhild asked his husband to kill King Sigurd. But King Gunnar refused to do so. So he asked his youngest brother to kill King Sigurd. And in that moment, King Sigurd's journey and the Volsunga Saga, or the Saga of the Volsungs, finally ended.